it's really important that we understand what application servers are. Now, an application server is simply a, an application such as SQL, a database application, Splunk, an application, this is a SIM tool, Apache, a web service application, an application server is simply an application like any of these that has been installed on a server, okay? An application server is an application that has been installed on a server. Now, we can have multiple services or applications installed on one server. So if we wanted to, and we try not to do this, this is in best security practice, if we wanted to, we can have a SQL database, which is a type of application. It is a database application. We can have a SQL database installed on this server, and we can have a web service or a web application such as Apache. We can have that application also installed on this same server. So servers, can have multiple applications on them, all right? Servers can have multiple applications on them. Best practices, we don't wanna put our web service or our web application, such as Apache, and our database application, such as SQL, on the same server. We don't wanna do that. We do not want to do that, okay? And these servers, these servers, when we have more than one application server together, it is considered a cluster of servers. Now, it has to be the same type of application server. So this means that we can have an Apache web server here. And if we had another Apache web server here, these two web servers would be considered a cluster. Okay, they would be considered a cluster. Now we have removed a single point of failure. So if one web server goes down, we still have another one. Okay, if one web server goes down, we still have another one. And, and since we're talking about web services, any website that you go to, whether it's olinesecurity.com or some other website, it lives on a web server. Okay, the website lives on a web server for the most part. For the most part, they live on web servers. So when you want to set up your own website, you're going to install, or someone has to install a web application on the web server, on a server. They have to install this web application on a server. This turns this server into a web server now. What type of application server? A web application server. If we wanted to set up a database on this server, well, we could install SQL on this server. We can so install a SQL database on that server. And now this application server has become a SQL database server. It has become a SQL database server. Now, if this right here is our SQL database server and this is our web server, or better yet, we can do our database server and our web server. If any time a user tries to log into our web server, imagine they had a, a pair of credentials, a username and password. When they try to log into this web server, the web server is going to verify the credentials within the database server. If the credentials are correct, the user will get access to this web server. If the credentials are wrong, then the user will not get access. The reason we don't want the database server and the web service, let me repeat that. The reason we don't want the database service, the SQL application and the web service, the Apache application, on the same server is because if this server gets compromised, then both applications are compromised. 
the data inside of our web service is compromised and the data inside of our database server is compromised. Therefore, we want to put them best practices, best practices when we can, and if the resources allow it, is to separate our application servers. 